Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. I did just upgrade my charge as opposed to the area of effect charge. I chose the heavy charge which will let me ram it into an individual enemy at incredible force which will hopefully do more damage. Uh, and uh, it will slow down time for a bit so like for, like for my surroundings so that way I can get out of the situation. Do I want to... this outfit. Am I at the point yet where I want to wear that? No. Maybe I'll wait for like my second round of companions. She'll loosen up a little bit. Do I want to keep wearing the terminus armor? I think I do. Storm speed. Wait, it's not just storm speed. Shields. Oof. No, let's stick, let's stick with the terminus. Even though you can see more of my face. Actually, um, if I did, oops, I think I, uh, pretty soon here, we are going to be getting Thane soon, and when that happens, I will be wearing the N7 armor without a helmet, because I want to be able to see my face when I see Thane. <laughs> Um, for now, we'll stick with the Terminus armor. Now we have to go get the Convict. Jack. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, it's probably from the elusive man. He says something about me. Yeah. I see you awakened to Kyrus Krogan, dangerous decision, but you got free reign. Thank you for informing me I have free reign. You're certain, blah, 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 we need every weapon. If this grunt proves unreliable, then it has to be put down. Don't lose the body. He's based partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data, but again, you are in charge. I think you do actually get, if you do get to decide to use um, grunt as like a scientific, like, study specimen, I think you get some sort of bonus for in Mass Effect 3. I don't know if you get one in Mass Effect 2 or not, but you do get something. Time to go get the convict. And then we can recruit my husband! I might not... I think I might not actually talk to Jacob after this mission. Uh, I may just... skip that minefield. Although, maybe I should navigate it and just see what happens if I can shut anything down that needs to be shut down. Because I won't, it's not like you can, it's not like you can just jump right into a romance with Thane right out the gate. Like, you still gotta flirt with him and stuff. I don't know if there's any, actually, is there like jealousy in Mass Effect 2? Or it, will a companion be like, you know, if I'm trying to flirt with Thane, he'd be like, oh, but you have a thing with Jacob, and I'm gonna be like, no. <laughs> so I got a bunch of uh, mineral resources. We'll get the Krogan Vitality. I want to do, do I? No. Metagel Capacity. And... Oh, what? Dang it. I thought I, I did have enough for it, but then I failed. Oh well. We'll get more. I wanted to get the health for sure. For the Krogan. Um, because it does actually make a big difference. Prob no messages probably shouldn't either. have gotten uh, Metagel capacity because it doesn't matter a ton in this difficulty, but and I don't get to use it like by choice. I. I have to wait till my so my companions die to use it. Hey, it's a prison ship. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns. Oh, we're gonna be bringing Zaida in this purgatory with a bunch of an ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors around that the blue rumors abound that the blue signs turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction live to tell the tale. Its population is listed at 4,300, but independent journalists estimate it is nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. 
Let's do this. So we'll be bringing Zaid. Oh yeah, give my boy, give my boy the upgraded version. Um, should we bring? Y yeah, why not? Why not? We gotta bring him out, honestly. Otherwise, he'll be peeved. Sure. Okay. I don't want to give him use the uh, I think the Vindicator we like the Vindicator we don't like the Medic because it's semi-automatic Geth Plasma Shotgun Let's do the Eviscerator. He's using the Vindicator too, and I changed the Missile Launcher. I'm using the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Yeah, here we go. I'm just trying to acquire all the companions I can, and then we'll do side missions. A prison ship, outsourcing your prisoners to a merc group. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Haha. -ha. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. And you must realize that I can't do that. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. I do look intimidating. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Uh-huh. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to outprocessing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, the deeper we get into this, it's like, whoa. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Why am I getting a tour? Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to Dang carry on with their crimes. Dang it, I should Bounty hunters aren't dependable. You're not hiring the right yeah. one. <laughs> Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. And make a profit. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. You scare the home worlds with the prisoners. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. I do. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Y unless they don't pay. <laughs> Let's get on with this. I bet people try pretty hard to get out. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> 
We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. Why are you giving me that look, weirdo? I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. I don't like being here. It really is purgatory. No one walks away from torture unchanged. Not the subject, not the torturer himself. Never found torture worth the price myself. That's interesting. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Like, I get it. He definitely probably deserves, like, there's, like, some guys in here. I think we'll talk to this guy. Hey. Hey, guys, over here. Let me ask Who, you they kill, murder, maim, horrifically abuse people. You know, that guy, he deserves what he's getting. I'd say. Like, I'm sure people could make an argument otherwise, but he deserves what's happening to him. But these two guys don't necessarily... Like, it is, like, the price torture enacts, like, on the torturer is not to be, like, you know, just, like, you know, ignored, you know? But also, like, torture in and of itself, because what if this guy didn't actually do, you know what I mean? And what if this guy didn't actually do stuff that he was accused of doing, blah, 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 all that moral and ethical stuff, like, which is really, really important, like, I don't know, and th it's the fact that, like, you should just treat people like people, you know, I'm also saying treat people like humans, but, you know, we're in space, and there's aliens, all, every, but, like, so we're all aliens, <laughs> so just treat people like people, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, at the same time, like, you want, like, justice of some sort, you know, like, not just, oh, they get locked away and live the rest of their life, and, like, you know, they get three meals a day, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's not fair to the people that they've murdered and, like, tortured. The, you know, like, that this that these prisoners have, like, done terrible, terrible things. Like, I don't know. This isn't the time. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. Get yourself out. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Should he be saying this? You know what I mean? <laughs> the guy, the warden was just like, oh yeah, it's, we're here on principle to keep people safe, but apparently he's just, oh. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off as if we're dead. Funny thing though, the more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Jack's dossier does say, um, that they are the most powerful human biotic to date. Um, but they are very volatile. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Mm. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. <laughs> yeah, he looks like this innocent young kid, but he's like a mass murderer. <laughs> I should go. Wish I could go. Uh, 
I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So yeah, so the warden wasn't being entirely honest with us, which honestly, at this point, I think we should be like questioning. This is the supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall. Oh, thank you, thank you. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. We should really be questioning his motives at this point. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Yeah, thank. Oh, I appreciate. It. No, you guys are so helpful. Like, wow, it's crazy. It's crazy how helpful you all are. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Yep. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You expect me to just? You talked up your noble intentions with this prison. But it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Aw, I didn't get to say the other stuff. Hostiles. Oh, I chose. Aw, uh, dang it. I need to be. I need to be a little careful, honestly. I didn't bring anybody with tech abilities. Definitely handle three armed people. Well, 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 shut Get up. Back shot. Yeah, you could handle three normal people. Aw. Shepard is. Let's Shepherd. get Jack out of the freezer. <laughs> get Jack out of the freezer. Uh, Shepard's always been here. She can do what she wants. Why isn't this working? Why does this not work sometimes? I, it's so frustrating. We can put this thing on shutdown in a moment's notice. Yeah, okay. To be fair, on really hard difficulties, this is this is incredibly difficult. <laughs> So they did get knocked. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's very satisfying. Oh, good. That's very satisfying. I actually get to kill people with the impact now. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people are you, down here. Are you are you serious, my dude? Where did that go into the floor? Also, why is a technician trying to fight me? Purgatory system controls, refine element zero. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. That's going to open every door on the cell well, block. It's the only way. Okay. I'm doing it. Be ready. So much for lockdown, am I right? And I'm glad that um, she's in there. She is small. Instead of somewhere, what if she was somewhere else, you know? So this was actually a really big reveal, honestly, at least for me. I, uh... <laughs> oh, I want to see this. 
<laughs> this is why I brought Grunt, because I knew he would like this part, because he just gets to rip and tear through this whole thing. Morning. Morning. Through the guards and the prisoners. Ooh, I want to see how long she can last. And, yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, um... For me, anyway, um, uh, when I first played, I 100% with a name like Jack assumed she was a man. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, could, but if you'll notice, in all the dossier material that you read about her before picking her up, um, it doesn't specify her gender. Like, I've checked every time I've played ev after the first time playing, it never specifies her gender. I just assumed that, her, that she was a man because of her name. And uh, so it was interesting. It was it was like it was like oh my gosh! Like when I first saw her, and I think there was um, potentially there was at least one person who didn't know that Jack was a woman in the comments right now. That I was like gonna be like ooh, you're not gonna know it. It'll surprise you, you know. But um, but I think we actually already spoiled that in the comments on accident by talking about how uh, it kind of sucks that you can't romance Jack as a woman. This should come in handy. she uh. I, 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 pretty sure that uh, Jack is bisexual. Uh, she even says that she's had a relationship with a woman uh, before, um, but it was pointed out that it was put, that it, that the relationship, that particular relationship, was not really consensual. Um, but I could have sworn there was other things that she had said that indicated she didn't she didn't really have a preference either way. But then she like gets really weirded out by you asking right. her asking her to romance you if you're a woman. So. Anyway, someday I'd love to romance Jack as a woman because, kind of like Morrigan, I never understood why Jack would want to romance a man. <laughs> Morrigan, too. Also, this is all Jack's doing. Jack is just. She. This. This. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One girl did this. One, one grown woman did this, is what it is. Um. I'm trying to get down. Can I not? Can I knock it down here? Oh, here we go. I'll open every airlock on this ship. Uh huh. So, Jack is literally. literally tearing everyone apart. Um, but. oh, jeez. And this is what's kind of unfortunate about the about games in general, I guess, um, is that unfortunately, when you get Jack on your squad, he, I am trying to move, but I got stuck. Um, she. Come on! Oh my gosh. She can't have the same level of power, right? It would be very unbalanced. You'd have to take Jack everywhere you went. If she could actually do what she's doing now, which is tearing a ship apart with her bare hands. Um, so... Unfortunately... Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. Unfortunately, she doesn't get to have this level of power in the game, like in the base game, she just has like normal, you know, biotic power. She has like a couple different ones than like Miranda, because she's, because uh, Jack is just like a straight up biotic. Um. Oh, she's, she's literally tearing this ship apart with her bare hands, and like. This guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. Uh. Like with her biotics, and her biotics are extremely powerful. Aha, this is why we look around. But if you know you you put her in the you put her in the regular game as somebody who can literally tear ships apart with her biotics, like it would be really unbalanced, and like you'd have to take her with you everywhere. So it kind of sucks. Like I wish I don't know, I wish she could be as powerful as like she's. Um. Like, uh, what's the word? Venerated as? Not venerated, that's not quite the right word, but like, you know, touted. And she's as, as, pow as powerful as she's touted as being. Lockdown in blocks 4, 7, and 8. Money, money, money. Uh, 
but this is Grunt's ideal playground, right? Where, like, you can literally... You can literally shoot everybody. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about being like, Grunt, don't hit the... <laughs> don't hit people. <laughs> Someone's still up there. The hull has been breached in sectors 12, 14, and 30. Yes. No survivors. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. I don't know what that just happened, but uh, it's fine. Let me in. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I hear that. I hear you. I hear you. Oh my goodness. It'll probably end poorly. Change weapons. This is the problem with the heat seeking missile. Is that it sometimes doesn't go where exactly where you want it. Here they come. Like where is that? Why is it, Why is it going on? <laughs> I mean I did bring it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's doing terribly. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Time to relocate. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... Both gonna die. Give me my barriers back. Oh my gosh. Ow, for, yeah, I stood up. I stood up too soon. Oh well. We were doing okay. Um, I'm not actually sure how long this episode's been going, but I'm gonna call it here. <laughs> Um, after the Jack reveal. Wow, she's crazy. She's really cool. I really like her abilities. And I like, I, I, like I was saying, I just wish we could get, like, the full impact of her abilities in the main game. Because you get to watch her tear through this ship. And, like, she's literally causing all the whole breaches. She's, like, murderizing everybody. And, like, <laughs> and then in the main game, it's like, pew, 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 you know? But, like, it is what it is, but... Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I wanted to give a special shout out to my patrons, especially to my sapling care patrons, uh, Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Kalita, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who's my tree tier, set, ugh, tree tier patron, who is the super awesome best assist. And thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.